the top three exercises for Achilles tendinopathy is what the subject of this video is. So stay tuned. Hey, this is Dr. Shaki from Irvine Spinal Wellness Center, your Irvine Posture and Movement Chiropractic Clinic. Tendinopathy, Achilles or not, has to do with chronic involvement and irritation of the Achilles tendon. Everyone knows where Achilles is, but in case you don't, that's this. <laughs> so when it comes to when we use the term tendinopathy, that just indicates that this problem has been going on for a long time. Stretching is important and you need to do the stretching. However, functional stretching is different than when you isolate and then you stretch. So this exercise has to do with facing a wall about a foot away from the wall and you stand with uh, as wide apart as your pelvis, keep your spine nice and neutral. These are all the requirements so your ankle joint can manage the movement better instead of trying to balance everything above. So <clears throat> with that said, you keep the spine neutral and you proceed to bring your face close to the wall as far as you can. Let's say you stop here because at this point, if the knee, uh, heels are lifting, then you're, that's not gonna work. So you stay there and then you come back and over time, you will increase your ankle mobility, which is, in, um, is also a stretching of your Achilles tendon. The second exercise that I really like has to do with lifting your heels. So Desiree, can you hold on to me? So with your back towards the uh, camera here. So in this exercise, you need to hold on to something. We're just limited by options here. So my arm's the bar that Desiree is balancing herself on. And we want to, again, keep the spine nice and neutral. And we're making the heels go up and you hold it there. As you're coming down, we wanna make sure your heels don't go inward or outward. So if you turn around that way, let's pay attention to the heels. The heels are going up, but as you're coming down, that's how it should be. You don't wanna deviate your heels from going to the towards the inside or outside. That way you're pulling on the Achilles tendon evenly which is important. Finally, the more advanced exercise that will involve a functional stretching that will involve your Achilles tendon has to do with something that you did as a baby. It's called a bear in DNS or dynamic neuromuscular stabilization, which is also a method of developmental kinesiology. All wordy stuff, let's just say you did it as a baby. <laughs> So you go into what's referred to as a uh, as a uh, table quadruped or tabletop. <laughs> I was trying not to use the fancy term, but tabletop, neutral spine. Your knees are as wide apart as your pelvis. Your your shoulders are stacked a little uh, above your uh, your uh, wrist. Or maybe if your wrists don't allow you to do that, move your hands upward a little bit so you're slightly behind your wrist. Go on your toes and keep the whole spine nice and neutral and go straight up and push the shoulder back like that. And that way you're, everything is nice and where it needs to be so you're actually stretching the Achilles tendon better go up higher with the hamstring, that's gonna stretch it better, go back down and down to the quadruple position. The, thank you. The, the, the important thing to remember is that you wanna engage your barrel, you wanna have a neutral spine. We've done a video on all of that whole engagement, like the breathing exercise, right? Yep. That would be a good one. We'll put it at the end of this video. Make sure you watch it and do it correctly. We're not interested in mechanical duplication, but a functional duplication of these exercises so you're actually making headways. If you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to the channel, 
and turn the notification on. And also, if you need to, if you have any questions, just give us a call and we'll see if we can answer it over the phone or in a short meeting. Thanks for watching.